I want to welcome you all to Hai's conference on AI ethics, policy, and governance. Since Hai's launched there's, uh, here in this auditorium in March, we've had uh, an overwhelmingly enthusiastic response and support for our institute and its human-centered approach. And we're so pleased to be here today to welcome you to our first actual major con conference. Hi, um, this is my co-director John H. Mundy for HAI, and I'm Fei Fei Li, I'm also co-director of HAI. So HAI, like John said, was founded uh, half a year ago on three simple but powerful ideas. Um, first, for AI to better serve human needs, it must incorporate more of the versi uh, versatility, nuance, and depth of the human internet, uh, intellect. Second, the development of AI should be paired with an ongoing study to understand, anticipate, and guide its impact on humanity and our social institutions. Third, the ultimate purpose of AI should be to enhance and augment our humanity, not to diminish or replace it. So over the course of the next two days, we invite you to reflect on how we can all work together to ensure that the concern for the human dimensions of machine intelligence remain front and center as the technology is developed and de deployed. We have an amazing speaker lineup that was generated to reflect two important goals of HAI. First, to cultivate interdisciplinary scholarship. So you will hear from people across engineering, social sciences, the humanities, and much more. Second, to conv convene multilateral stakeholders from academia, government, civil society, and industry. The audience for the conference is drawn from each of these arenas and we hope you will model our cross-disciplinary and cross-sector conversations by meeting people outside of your usual circle during the breaks and the sessions. So finally, before we actually begin the program, we would like to thank some of our closest friends and supporters, our early, early supporters, including Bob and Dottie King, uh, Steve and R Roberta Denning, Reed Hoffman and Michelle Yi, Jerry Yang and Akiko Yamazaki, Ram and Vijay Shiram, John and Andrea Hennessy, and Eric Horvitz. And we'd also like to thank Dario Gill, Arvind Gupta, Jeff Welser, and, and Wendy Bellowomini at IBM Research, and Andy Jassy, uh, Swami Siva Subramanian, Teresa Carlson, and Anne Maryhew at Amazon Web Services. Thank you all for making all of this possible. And now we would like to turn things over to the real hosts of this conference, Rob Reich and Susan Athey, who are two of HAI's hardworking associate directors who have spearheaded this event and put in a lot of effort to make it, to pull it off. Morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Rob Reich. I'm a professor here in the political science department and just a forestall any possible confusion. I am not the former Secretary of Labor. <laughs> he teaches across the Bay, lesser in stature up here, uh, but greater in height. Um, I want to add my own welcome to the more than 900 people uh, participating in the high conference over the next two days, representing academia, civil society, government, and industry, and in addition to all the people on the live stream. Susan Athey and I hope to use this conference to broaden the high community across campus to address the important issues related to the interplay between technology and society. And I'm really pleased to say that we were not disappointed at all with the results. We programmed this conference by calling up numerous colleagues in different departments across campus, asking them to take the lead in organizing the nearly dozen breakout sessions that will be scheduled today and tomorrow in addition to several rated workshops, and we were overwhelmed with an enthusiastic response. But of course, we're just beginning the process. High is still in its infancy, and we're 
trying to build across time a broad network across campus that will touch almost every department and corner of the university, building intellectual life, making connections, and empowering students, fellows, and faculty to pursue interdisciplinary research that will be necessary, we believe, to harness artificial intelligence, perhaps the most important technology of the 21st century, to serve rather than to undermine human interests. Stanford, as you know, has a long history of collaborations like this, and we think it's the ideal place for an initiative like High. 